Hey guys, Monty here. Today I'm going to show you how to use TextMod. What is TextMod? Well, it's... TextMod is a utility to find, save, modify textures in Direct 3D9 applications. In order to share and distribute textures modification, packages can be created, which are both compressed and prevent a further modification. Okay. TextMod can be used on most games. For you people that use Steam, there's some tutorials out there on how to... Uh, rename some files and stuff in order for it to get it work. Um, Batman Arkham Asylum doesn't work, only on the demo. And it's really easy to use, and it's a small little program. And I'm just going to show you how I use it. So we load, we uh, got TextMod up and running. And right now, the interface is uh, target application, basically right where your game executional file is. Packaging mode, logging mode, packaging build. I'm going to show you the steps to go through it. First, what I like to do is go and make a folder on the desktop, or it doesn't have to be your desktop. It can be anywhere you want. And since I'm using Photoshop, I normally put my PSD files right in here, just in case I want to make more outfits or mod some more stuff. And I just make folders of what they are, so it helps me out. Um, this folder here is text mod log normal outfit, because today I'm going to be working on a normal outfit. And I normally just keep the 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 program in with the folder because it's right there <laughs> and um i'm just going to show you how i use it okay first is the target application click on here you can browse for whatever a game and today i'm going to be using tomb raider anniversary uh it's an older game yes but it's the first game that i ever learned how to use text mod on and it's really easy to use. Um, text mod also can be very finicky. Sometimes it just acts up when it wants to. Um, we're going to show you an example right now. Right now, this is all pretty much cut off. Uh, that you don't have to worry about that. It probably has to do with your resolution on your screen. But if not, all you have to do is click out, restart it again, and it goes right back to normal. In a way, I'll, I'm going to show you the logging mode first. What we have here is options: draw, control, and textures info. Show textures on upper left corner. Replace textures with a green texture. When you're going through all the textures in the game, it's going to show up green. I like to keep the uh, translucent on because sometimes when the texture goes on the the player or the the person that you're playing, it covers it up and it just you can't see what you're actually looking at. Uh, the output folder is right where right where all your textures are going to be, and I'm just going to leave that alone right there. And this prob this bottom part right here is just for when you're testing your output you can change to whatever what format you want and today I'm just going to use a bit bit BMP today and so let's just get started shall we okay okay guys after you hit the run button let the game start and all that and if you look up towards the top left it tells you that text mod is up and running and you can read all through that if you want basically it's just loaded up all the textures that are in that are in this scene so it doesn't have to be the start the the menu part or you know in game you can do this now it says here if you go through your plus or minus you'll get to go through all the textures that are in in that scene so what I'm doing right now is I'm going through the textures waiting for one to come up now right there 
on the model it's all green but there's like the texture of what it is and i'm going to use this one i'm going to hit enter to select it go through it again there's her shirt i'm going to use that and i'm not going to keep on going with this i'm just going to use two uh well maybe three textures for today okay after you're done doing that, exit out of the game, and we're going to do some modifying. Okie dokie.